Welcome back to another episode of our series ETS for Beginners. In today's episode, we're going to explore the settings for the data storage and provide background information on how ETS stores the project data. Let's get started. To get access on the data storage, you need to go on settings. Click here and then click on data storage. Project store. ETS stores projects on your local hard disk as a set of multiple files for each project. This setup allows for high performance access to uncompressed data ensuring a smooth experience. Each local project's files must be consistent at all times and accessed by a single user to avoid conflicts. Sharing projects. It's crucial to note that you can't share your local project data via network shares or cloud synchronized services. This restriction is in place to maintain data integrity and prevent corruption. Restore points. ETS keeps restore points in the project store folder. These restore points are specific files with names that start with the product identifier and creation timestamp, ensuring a clear reference to your projects. Creating restore points. When it comes to creating restore points, you have three options. The first one is yes. This option creates as a restore points every time you close a project, ensuring that you have a backup of your work. By default, it's yes. But you have also the option No. Choosing this means no restore points are created at all. The last one is Ask when closing project. ETS will prompt you to decide whether to create a restore points every time you close a project. You can also define the maximum number of restore points to be created. This gives you the control over how many restore points you want to keep. Project Archive the Project Archive serves the purpose of storing projects on a central repository. ETS can process projects in the Project Archive, ensuring data integrity. The Project Archive serves as a valuable resource for managing your projects over time. You can see the directory for the Project Archive. The default location is typically this link. You also have the option to convert ETS5 archive projects. Link folders. This feature allows you to include several archive folders distributed in the local file system in different locations in your own archive view. This makes it very easy to share parts of the archive in the linked folders with colleagues or customers. Collaboration mode. Finally, there is a collaboration mode in the archive, which enables additional features for teamwork and project management, like providing extended functionality when working on projects with multiple users. And that's wrap for today's episode on project storage, restore points, and the project archive in ETS. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future episodes.